people, random people of YouTube. <clears throat> What's up? Um, I look totally like shit right now. I need to shave. Um, but I, this is gonna be a long, like, possibly, I don't know, who knows. I'm more out. Uh, but just, I'm pretty much just gonna, I don't have any, like, you know, main thing that I'm making this about. I, I didn't film anything in the sky. I've been watching it constantly still. Um, but, like, I just looked at this uh, comment from a video that Skywatch Media News just posted talking about the the giant media that came through over, uh, like, upstate New York, and or the footage was over Toronto, and it's in the daytime, and it just literally just lights the whole sky up from daytime to, like, ultra daytime, like, atomic bomb, uh, you know, like, Super Saiyan daytime, but, and it's just, it's so gnarly, it really is, and, uh, it was just, like, some comment that some dude made on there, like, just, uh, like, laughing, some stupid ass, like, smiley emoji face, like, um, you know, like, media hype for, uh, the U.S. premiere of the movie Greenland or, you know, whatever, some ignorant shit, like, I'm not trying to be such a hater, I'm really not, it's just people, like, making a joke of the shit, really, it's like, for one, <coughs> people are gonna start panicking soon, <clears throat> because shit's gonna start getting really undeniably, like, people are just gonna start realizing it's gonna start happening, like, I mean, it's gonna start going down, uh, it has started going down, like, and keep this in mind about me. Um, I've said this before, but I'm not, like, some, like, sky dude, astrology dude. I've never, it's not been a thing that, like, I'm watching the sky all the time. Like, I, it happened to be, you know, about eight months ago, roughly. Right, literally about right when, uh, this whole thing was, uh, <clears throat> declared, like, a global pandemic. Right, really, when it popped off. Uh, I noticed that, you can go and look at some of my older videos, um, <clears throat> just that thing in the sky which everybody was saying was, uh, Venus, and, you know, it, it could be, I have no idea, but from that point, uh, and I was getting, like, a shitload more, like, subscribers and, like, uh, shit like that, uh, but I really, like, I, for me, just, like, talking, even, even to people online, it just pisses me off because I hate people like talking stupid shit. Like I really am the most respectful and cool person. I could talk to you about anything. If we disagree, I, like when I argue with people, it's not even like an argument. It's like a debate. I, my goal is to learn. People just like come at you in, in a in a way like they're not even trying to learn. They're trying to prove you wrong. They already had it decided in their head that they already know what's going on. And I mean that's fine. But like then you mix it with the whole internet thing and like people just like are just I, I, I hate that. I, I I'll either be cool with somebody or we cannot talk or I'll whoop your fucking ass. I'm not trying to like talk no shit. You might whoop mine, but I'm saying like that's like how I get down as far as like I, we can be cool and respectful or we cannot have anything to do with each other. Just you not even not even communicate or like we can fight, period. Like, that's just how I get down. What I'm saying is I'm I, I'm not trying to engage verbally in some shit talking with another grown-ass man. A woman, yeah, on him, but I'm not gonna hit no girl. I mean, I, that's the the kind of people that really can piss me off more than anybody because there's not shit I can do about it ultimately. If somebody, if a girl makes me mad enough, I can't do any fucking thing about it. So you guys win there. Good for you. But, um, and I love y'all, though. But, what I'm trying to say is, like, so I kind of backed off, like, posting, you know, about this stuff. On top of me telling, like, friends and uh, just people around me, like, yo, there is some shit going on as far as, like, the sky. Like, look, the sky is wild. There's a bunch of crazy shit in it. And we have asteroids just passing us, like, at a crazy rate. Um, and, like I said uh, before this, I was never, like, into the sky, but I started noticing this stuff. And also... I had been off of, like, social media, off Facebook. Still, I haven't, you know, been back on. Uh, it's coming up, like, right out on four years. I'm about to be 28. Uh, the last time I was on it, I think, literally was my 24th birthday. So I get off social media, and I think that has something to do with it. They have people so, like, blinded in a lot of ways. <laughs> just, like, people just look at their phone all day long. 
like, the last thing they're going to do is look up. You know, at the sky, like, be looking at the sky. You see a fool like me just looking at the sky, you're like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? And, I mean, whatever, but, like, all I'm saying is that from that time when I really kind of stopped posting these videos about the shit going on in the sky, it started escalating a shitload from there. I started noticing more of these things in the sky, and they would move, and now there's a shitload of them. Um, I was out there just a minute ago, and there's just literally just big-ass, like, blinking lights. Big, gnarly-ass lights, too. Uh, with just these lines sticking off them. And, again, I told you I would be kind of rambling. I don't have any structure for this. I'm just kind of, like, telling you guys what's up and just keeping it real. Because I know there's people like me out there. Uh, you know, I look at these videos, and it is a small amount of crazy, like... Like, it blows my mind how small of an amount that this shit is going on. And the people that are aware of it and that care and are, like, trying to tell people, you know, it's, like, that few people. Like, people really are sheep. And, you know, it's, it's like that herd mentality. They have people so distracted. And then there's this virus, and that's hella distraction, too. On top of, you know, just how shit is or whatever now. But, um, yeah, it has just gotten, it's gotten so wild, dude, the shit in the sky. And... The asteroids, it just started getting to where, um, like, I mean, any anybody can go look at, like, spaceweather.com, or I always check, like, uh, the American Meteor Society's page, and just, like, look, dude, look at these asteroids, fireballs, bolides just coming through, huge, gnarly ones, movie ones, the one you gotta shoot Bruce Willis on, too, and, um, just, it's insane for real. And now the shit is really starting to pop off. Like, the one over Japan, like, last week or whatever, and the one over, like, Canada and New York just a couple days ago. Um, and there's more expected to come. I, again, I don't know exactly what's going on. I, all I know is I started seeing these things in the sky. I started hearing about the asteroids. I started looking into it. You can do your own research. I'm not going to argue with you. Like, learn if you want to. If not, cool. Do your thing. Be happy. I want you to be happy. I'm trying to be happy. You know? Like, but I'm just saying, it definitely isn't a laughing matter, and it definitely, at this point, is not some conspiracy type shit. There's something for sure going on. I mean, and I don't know what'll come of that. It's kind of like, because, I mean, we're gonna die. That is guaranteed, as people. I mean, that's, and that's fine. It's a naturalist birth. But think about how many people have lived on this earth their whole life. And, you know, just thinking, like, yo, some shit could, could get crazy. Some shit could really pop off one day. Like, and just nothing ever happened. Just lived. I mean, how many, like, billions of people. And we're living in really crazy times right now. We're kind of lucky in a way. I mean, like, we're really kind of seeing some shit. Just in this year, you take the asteroids and the sky totally out of it. Just all the shit. All this crazy shit. I mean, if you asked me, like, a year or two ago, like... You know, if a year or two ago you were to break down this whole scenario, subtract the shit from the sky, the, just the virus and all this stuff, I, I really don't want to use certain words because YouTube will, like, pull videos off or, like, all the censorship, all the, you know. But if you were to break it down to me, tell me what's going to go on and uh, tell me that everybody's going to be walking around with the mask, we're not allowed to get within six feet of each other, people locked up in their house, food's running off the shelf, all this stuff. I would have told you were full of shit. I mean, really, straight up. Like, it, this just came out of nowhere. We already are living in just the craziest, weirdest times. But the craziest and weirdest thing about it, people are not uh, looking into. Like, the shit with the sky and the asteroids. Like, you notice, like, just a handful of years ago, the whole, like thing that everybody was talking about like go green save the earth save the planet and now that is not um you know the topic anymore that's not the dialogue now it is get the fuck off the planet every every all the richest people in the world are you know trying to figure out how to how to get the fuck off this planet how to colonize mars all the stuff why do you think with all this crazy shit going on during a pandemic during all all this stuff so much money and time is being you know, put into, like, SpaceX. Like, how the fuck does that make sense? Why would they be doing that? You can connect these dots really easily. There's something really, really wild going on. 
And I mean, I would be talking about like Nibiru, Planet X, and people would just like act like you are insane, you're crazy. It's like, dude, you don't know any fucking better than I do. And, and I don't know. But like looking into like these theories as far as like, I mean, it makes so much sense. What would be bringing all the, and it's not just an asteroid or a couple asteroids. It is literally a, do your own research, look it up. A, and, and by the way, a lot of these asteroids will pass us, and then we find out about it after it passed. It passed, and then we know about it. Like, we don't see all these coming. Like, literally, a fuckload of asteroids just coming in. And, um, you know, it's it's like, what would, that's not a random thing. They didn't just show up in a, at the same spot, you know, randomly by coincidence. Like, just like how all of the current, you know situations happening right now we, with the virus people being distracted the shit going on in the sky i don't think that's a coincidence but all those rocks coming out is damn sure isn't and it really just makes sense that there would be one really large thing coming and its gravitational pull is pulling in you know these rocks again i don't know i'm not you know but i'm just i'm just saying i'm a person just like you are nobody's perfect i mean but and i'm just trying to to, t to tell people the reason i would like even make this and put myself out there as, like, looking like an idiot or crazy to fools, which I really don't give a fuck. But the reason... Why would I do that, dude? Other than me trying to... Like, if I knew that there was, like, a dude planning on, like, doing some crazy shit, wrecking a truck into a building or something, and I didn't tell these these people, like, yo, dude, like, that I knew something possibly was gonna happen, what kind of a shitty, fucked-up person would I be? Like, and if I believe in my mind, which I do... That there's some wild shit going on that is is potentially, you know, definitely very threatening to people. And I didn't try and tell people. I would just feel like a piece of shit. So that's all I'm trying to do, dude. Quit being such a hater. Fuck y'all. Um, not all y'all, obviously, but you know what it is. I mean, honestly. Um, but yeah, dude, that's that's all I'm trying to do, man. I mean, a lot of people will tell me. Because the, the same people that would really be, like, arguing with me before, like, that's not go what's going on. You're crazy. It's like, now, a lot of them are to the point where they're just afraid of it. They don't want to talk about it. They'll, they'll avoid the subject. Like, and, and a lot of them have said things to me like, man, if something like that was going on, I wouldn't want to know about it. And that's fine, and I understand that. But, I mean, I would. And since I do, I just feel like I'm, I'm a shitty person if I don't try and let other people know. I mean, honestly. Like, and I'm not saying we're all going to die, dude. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm not saying it's the end times, all this. Like, uh, some some fire and brimstone, uh, Old Testament type of shit. I'm just saying there's some shit going on. It could happen. Could not. One could hit and uh, there's, a, there's a, you know... There's several, like, possible, possible scenarios that could, like, lead out from this. But I'm just saying something is happening, for sure. Um, as a matter of fact, I was out there earlier tonight, and I seen... I mean, it's, it's a weird-ass thing, but uh, straight up, I'll just call it what it is, I guess, just a meteor. I mean, like a shooting star, but way lower, way closer, way more visible, way more in the sky, way longer than it should be, just seen it. And I, I'll be, like I said, I'll go out most nights unless it's too cold. I'll just be looking at the sky, looking for some shit like that. But earlier, I was just walking some clothes out to a building and uh, just in, in the backyard in the shed and just happened to see it totally randomly. And I was like, dude, holy fucking shit. And it's not the first one. Earlier uh, this year, probably four months ago, me and my buddy Christian were outside and one way bigger than that came over. Just a white one went all the way across the sky, all the way over the tree line. And I, was, I, I thought I was going to hear like a boom. Like, it looked like it was going to hit the land. And it totally freaked him out. He was like, what the fuck? But by that time, I'd already I, I'd already been dealing with this for so long that, um, like I said, for the course of, like, the past eight months, uh, I've been looking into this, and it's escalated in an extremely alarming way. But throughout that course, I've had three, like, full-on panic attacks. Totally freaking the fuck out. But only three. And... Other than that, I'm pretty, you know, to terms with it. It's something that I've come to accept. Like, it, it, it's good for people to start to come to terms with their own mortality anyway. I mean, nobody's going to live forever. I wouldn't want to. But, um, 
Yeah, man. I did see the movie Greenland. I looked for it hard. Uh, and that's weird, too, that they would make that movie and then it get banned in the U.S. and all this stuff. Like, like I said, you can connect dots. It's easy to do. And they're not far, hard dots to connect. Um, it's just what makes sense. You look at it for what it is, and it's like, okay, this is that, obviously. But one thing about that movie, by the way, it is phenomenal. Like, it's the best apocalypse movie I've ever seen, hands down, bar none. Uh, it really is a super good movie. But um, in a lot of ways, you would see the goodness in people. People, like, the humanity in people. And that's, like, what I hope something ultimately leads to. Like, hardships, stuff like that. Like, I live, like I'm from, I was actually born in Tennessee. Lived in Kentucky my whole life. It's like, Appalachia really is what it is. But I'm telling you, dude, it's like, that's what it is. Honestly, like, in the South, it's like, that's, people help each other. You know, it's rough out here. It's like, that's how you got to get by. People have to, you know, have each other's backs. Uh... And that's like, you know, hardships fall on us. And that is like some shit, you know, right now. I'm just saying the division and the people just hating on each other and all the like, everybody's like trying to be each other's enemies. Like that is not what we need. Say, say we were totally fucked for sure. One's going to hit tomorrow. What good is it going to do for us to be at each other's throats, man? Like love each other. Be cool with each other. I mean, fuck, dude. Like, I don't know. Be the good that you want to see in the world. Like be cool to people. Be good to people. They need it. You know? But, yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know what my point is, really. I'm just trying to, I don't know, make a little update. I think about it constantly. I talk about it constantly. It's, it's wild. But, by all means, man, uh, if you're into this, you've been looking into it, if you're just now starting to notice it, whatever, like, subscribe, though. Talk to me. Let me know what's up. Share shit that you see with me, because, like, it is a network of us people that are seeing it, and we are still a very small number. The world will start seeing it soon, regardless of what happens. If it keeps escalating at the rate it has, pretty soon everybody will know. And I've had eight months to deal with it. I'm a pretty rational person to begin with, but like I said, I've had three panic attacks. But the people that just deny it and make jokes about it, they're going to do that up until they start seeing them themselves in the sky or see some really crazy shit happen, and then they're going to freak the fuck out. So, dude, just get a gun. You feel me? Like, be know, know how to fight. Uh, handle your shit. Take care of the people around you, because people are going to fucking freak out. But, like I said, man, uh, y'all be cool, but this shit is fucking wild. Let me know what you've seen, what you've heard, information, because it's suppressed. If you have it, let me know, because I want to know. But, y'all be cool.